Hello and welcome to Range and Country. I'm Lawrence. And I'm Peter. And today we're showing you the Brocock Sniper XR today. So this one we've got here is the 2.2 caliber and it's in the laminate stock. They also do it in a black synthetic stock as well. And semi-recently, um, they started doing it in a safari stock, which is impossible to describe because it's textured. It's like bark, isn't it? It's very old. It's very rusty. Rustic. Yeah, I, th I think that's the best. It's a bit like some, what you imagine would be sunblasted wood, I think. Mm. So, first off, let's talk about Brocock as a company, as a gun manufacturer. Brocock have been around many, many years, haven't they? They... A few years ago, they were taken over, and now they're part of the Daystate Group, which has brought some of the technology from Daystate over to Brocock. You'll notice that the um, carbon fibre cylinder on the front is the same as some of the, the Daystate rifles they, they share with that. Um, personally, I know that the firing valve inside is very similar to the Daystates as well. The Daystates use the Harper valve system, and the Brocock is very, very similar. So, th this this is the uh, the most recent version of the, the Brocock, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, side lever, interestingly. Yeah, so uh, these rifles, um, it used to be called the Bantam, came out... Ooh, several. Yeah, three years ago, something like that. Um, and then at the start of 2020, they started coming out with the XR, which all that relates to is the side lever on the side. Um, we think that's a very, very nice upgrade. A side lever is a lot smoother. It cuts down a lot of problems when you think you've cocked it, but you haven't. There, it's a lot easier. You've got a lot more leverage to cock it with. Sometimes with a bolt, it's quite hard to pull it back, especially when the gun's new. And with a bolt handle, the, the further down that bolt handle you're pulling it, the more offset you're actually applying that force. And it's, it makes it a little bit harder to pull back. With a side lever, it comes back a lot easier. What else have we got new on this gun? We've got on here, we've got a uh, adjustable cheek piece here. It's got a smaller amount, small amount of adjustment on here to be able to lift it up, to be able to bring your, your cheek up to the scope level. You've got the adjustable power. Now these have been on the Brocox in sort of these iterations for the past, let's say, three years or so. Um, but it's no less useful. You've got three different power settings on there. Full, which is about 11.5, uh, mid, which is about 10.2, and then low power, which is about six or seven foot pounds. When would that be useful for you, for, for the user, being able to drop the power down? Yeah, um, so your, your lowest power setting, you can either use it, if you're doing a lot of sort of 10 meter indoor target shooting, you don't need the extra power. In fact, it's gonna save your target a lot more if you're turning it down. You can get more shots out of it. It's going to be just as accurate at 10 meters. Less damage to your backstop if you're if you're ratting in a building. Yeah, absolutely. If you're getting pigeons up in up in uh, up in the eaves or something, and you don't want to hit the the building behind it, you can turn that down on there. Excellent. So what what else do we bring in? You said adjustable cheek piece. Now we've also got this extra rail on the top here. Do you always need that? Sometimes you don't. If you've got a particularly short eye relief scope, you can put that on the back here, um, in which case you could you could take this, this top rail off, just two screws and that will come off. You can also get a weaver rail, so that'll take your like your night vision stuff, um, any of your pads, uh, ATN, something like that. You can take that off and replace that with the optional uh, weaver rail on top, and um, that'll also have a back section as well. That's quite handy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Gives you the option then, doesn't it? It says Th This one's sporting the single shot tray, which is quite nice. Um, Little plastic tray. Yeah. Some people say they're fiddly. I don't think so too much. I mean, you can get aftermarket sort of 3D printed things for it. I think that's just, just fine. They're better than a lot because it's actually raised on one side. So it's a lot easier to put, put your pallet in. And you can put it in from either side, can't you? Yeah, you can. Unlike the day states, we can't change the side of the that the handedness of the of the lever on the on the brocox. On the day states, we can. Um, on the brocox, we can't. So what else, Lawrence? Well, we haven't talked about shooting yet. No, we haven't. So this is this is regulated, isn't it? 
It's got the same humor regulator as the as a, the day states as the the new Wolverines and the uh, Huntsman Reveres and that sort of thing. Um, you've got your two gauges on here. Your top ones for your regulator pressure. Your bottoms for bottom ones for your cylinder pressure. Let's just touch on regulators. What what does a regulator actually do to the rifle? Regulator obviously is in the name. It's set to regulate the shots, uh, the velocity of each shot that comes out. Uh, in the real world, by the time you get to these nice high-end guns, they're just as consistent as with or without. Something like the Air Arms, the S400, 410s, some of the most consistent, reliable guns you'll ever get, and they're not regulated. What I tend to sell these guns, sell the regulators as, is it gets more fit, more efficiency. So you get roughly about 50% more shots out of the same capacity uh, as without one. So take it back to day set again. They used to do the Wolverine that wasn't regulated with bolt action. Um, that would get about 250 shots per fill. And now they do the Wolverine R, which is side lever, which is the regulated version. Everything else is the same. You get about 450. Makes so, a big difference. Yeah, it does. So what, what sort of shot count would we get out of this, Lawrence? In 177, you get about 380. That's enough. Most of a tin of pellets. Yeah. That's enough, isn't it? Absolutely. That's going to be most of the day on the range anyway. It certainly is. So we were talking about the single shot tray. So as well as the single shot tray, they come with an 11 shot magazine in the 2.2 and they come with a 13 round magazine in the 177. So you get plenty of shots before you have to refill the magazine and you get loads of shots before you have to refill the rifle. So here we have on the end of the shroud, a half inch by 20 UNF thread for a silencer, moderator, whichever you'd like to call it. Um, does it make a difference? It's shrouded anyway. The moderator does make a difference on top of that. It's If you're shooting in your garden and it's noises um, of the essence, then you need a moderator. So same with all, same with most air guns. Yeah. yeah. So how do we find them? We, we've, we've sold a lot of these, haven't we? Quite a few of our members have them on the range. Yeah, like you say, they've been a good range gun for us. Um, they're... They're nice, they're accurate, trigger's very nice, big shot count, um, they feel nice, they look nice, brilliant range gun, um, but they're, they're more des they're designed for hunting, but funny enough, they're a brilliant range gun. Um, yeah, we absolutely love them. They're we do. Very popular, do. like you say. We at Range and Country are Brocox approved service centre, as we are for Day State. Um, we have a very good relationship with Brocock. We carry a lot of stock and we carry all spares for them as well. Our customer service is second to none, I believe. We really do go the extra mile for our customers and I think it shows in our reviews. To sum up the Brocock Sniper XR, it's I think it's everything that you'd want in a rifle. You've got the high shot count, you've got accuracy, it's quiet, it's comfortable, it's ergonomic. I think it's everything that you want. One yep. thing we didn't touch on, you know, where's the safety catch on this one? It's down the front here by the trigger. So quite easy to flick over with your trigger finger. As a right-handed shooter, I would, it would be effort to put it on, easy to flick it off, just how you want it. Put it on, flick it off, shoot. Brilliant. Superb. Would you buy one? Yeah, I would. Yeah, Absolutely. no hesitation there. Yeah. Brilliant. There we go. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.